Lynn, thank you so much. I want you guys to take a look at all of these delicious plant-based treats and inspires and Instagram posting binge, right? Well, actually behind it is another story of inspiration and I want you to meet the storyteller herself. This is Jamie Herman. She owns Looking Meadow Coffee. All of these are plant-based. That is absolutely delicious. It's just ridiculous. Um, but it, it, you, you've you been having a little bit of trouble yes. <laughs> with your trailer yes. uh, or your mobile cafe. Tell us about that. Yes, so the business started at the beginning of COVID. I bought a camper in March, 2020, had it rehabbed so that I could do vegan coffee and baked goods. Smart. Yep, opened um, October, 2020. And it was actually really great because people, um, weren't afraid to line up outside to get, you know, I know it was harder for indoor businesses. So um, it's going really well until July uh, 2021. I accidentally totaled my camera. Oh no, I'm sorry. Yes, it happened so quickly. Um, so I decided to buy a new one. Yeah. I did a few weeks later. Okay. Parked it at my house the night I bought it yeah. and woke up to someone crashing through it in no. the morning and they completely totaled it. Oh. So to keep my business going, I, I've just been setting up a table at farmer's markets yeah. and festivals, private events like weddings um, while I look for a cafe because I'm not doing another camper. <laughs> I can't do that anymore. It might be a public safety <laughs> issue. You just, right. It's like, you know, <laughs> it's magnetic. It's attracting other <laughs> large yeah. metal objects to it. But uh, your ability to pivot, uh, first the pandemic and then all of then the crashes. What lessons do you think that your story holds for other small business owners right now? Um, for me, I just had to find a way to keep going to keep my business alive and you know keep the customers that I have and just adapting to whatever I could and for me it was just you know it was sad to go from my cute camper to just setting up a little table but that's what got me to the point where I'm at now where I finally yeah. you know signed a lease for a cafe <gasps> that's so awesome yeah. congratulations yeah. and you know what something else is that I, I don't think that as someone who also eats a plant-based diet when I see a plate like this the amount of joy and relief <laughs> it brings me because it's so hard to find uh, your plant-based treats in town um, you know because the cafes I mean they're great but you know, I'm kind of standing at the door waiting for them to open on a Tuesday or Wednesday. So it's great to know that this is here. And this is something else I have not had in years. Tell me what this is. That is a mini quiche. Mm. Um, I make it with uh, vegan sausage, vegan cheese, spinach. Um, I serve these at Tower Grove Farmer's Market. They're little five inch ones. Mm -hmm. they, are, they are very popular because a lot of vegans aren't used to being able to eat quiche. Right, so, right. Yeah. And of course, as you can see, all these other wonderful plant-based treats. I know people, it's only Tuesday, but let's go ahead and plan for the weekend, shall we? Looking Meadow Coffee has a table at Tower Grove Farmer's Market, Saturdays from 8 a.m. until 12.30 in Tower Grove Park. We will have links at fox2now.com. Listen, be careful because we need you. <laughs> we need her, okay? Ahead on Fox 2 News at 9 a.m., Barbie honors a black woman, a millionaire, and a first. Meet the inspirational doll just ahead. Plus.